All right, we're working with two-digit divisors and multi-digit dividends. So when you do these, I think the easiest thing to do is just estimate and use guess and check to figure this out. So I'm going to change 81 here to a number that's a little bit easier, a little more familiar with us, and that's 80. And I'm going to see how many times 80 goes into not 432, but I'm going to round this off to 400. And the reason that I'm doing that, we look at it like this. 400 divided by 80. Well, if I take the zero off of 80, what I'm left with is 40 divided by 8. And that's something that you can probably do mentally. So I have 81 into 432, and that's going to go in there five times. That might not be entirely right because we made an estimate, but we'll find out soon enough. It's going to be really close. It'll probably only be off by one. Maybe it'll be four or six or Maybe it will be 5. 1 times 5 is 5. And then to figure out if, if this 5 is correct, we're just going to sub subtract here. And we end up getting 27, right? Because I cross out the 3 here. And I'm going to borrow and make that. So I'm left with 27. 27 is less than 81. So we know actually that 5's Five is good. We can leave that five there. And then I'm going to bring down this five. And now i got to say, how many times is 81 going to 275? And if we're keeping the work organized here, I can maybe do some guess and check. We could try 81 times three. And you don't have to do it like this. You could do it the way we did it the first time, just through estimating. 81 times three, that's three. Eight times three is 24. And actually, this is going to work three times. So I'll put my three right above the five that I just brought down. And I'm going to use that 243 down here in this answer. And since there's nothing left to bring down, I can just say that the remainder on this would be 32. As long as your remainder, by the way, is smaller than your divisor, it's okay if you think you have a, a big remainder, which is the case here. You're not used to seeing a remainder this big, but the reason for that is that the divisor is also very big. Let's try another one. So I have 32 going into 1,475. Well, I'm going to round this to 30. Makes sense. Again, we want to get it into a number that's easy to work with. And I know 30 doesn't go into 1, and I know it doesn't go into 14, but it will go into 147. I'm going to actually going to change this number to um, another number that ends with 0. I'm going to change it to 150. We just rounded it up. Now, 30 goes into 155 times. So that should work here. Let's see. 5 times 2 is 10. I'd carry that 1. And 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 would be... 16. So guess what? Like we talked about last time, this number might have been a little bit too big. So instead of 5, it makes sense that I would try 4. Since we came out with a number too big, we're going to try it one less. Two times four is eight. And then three times four is twelve. And then we subtract here. So I'm going to borrow from the 4, since I can't do 7 minus 8. Minus 8 is 9. And 3 minus 2 would be 1. So does 32 go into 19? Is 19 a smaller number? Yeah, it is. So we're okay. I can bring down the 5. If, nine, if this number happened to be bigger than 32, we made a mistake somewhere. So the 5 can be brought down, and now we have to decipher how many times does 32, or as we talked about earlier, 30, going to 195. Well, let's round this number to something. Remember, 30 is, is the same as 3. It's just got a 0 next to it. So let's use numbers that 3 would go into, like 15 or 18 or 21. So this number right here, pretty close to 21 or 18. You could use either one. We'll try 18. So 30 would go into 186 times. So that's the number I'm going to try. And it might be 7 just because these are so close. Let's see. 6 times 2 would be 12. I'd carry that 1. 
6 times 3 would be 18, plus 1 would be 19. Actually, this one works out real good. So we get pretty darn close there. 195 minus 192. We have 3 left over and nothing else to bring down over here. So I'm going to put the remainder of 3. One less problem here, and then we're I think we're good to go on this topic. 17 goes into 49. Well, let's see. If we change this number to 20, and this number maybe to 40, or well, we wouldn't want to change to 50 just because 20 doesn't go into 50, 2 doesn't go into 5. Um, but 17 goes into 49 because it's going to go in there twice. 7 times 2 is 14. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. We have 15 for our remainder, and that remainder is smaller than 17, so we're in good shape. We can bring it down. And then just using estimation here, I know 17 times 10 would be 170. So it's not quite going to be 10, but I would try 9. 9 is one step below that. Um, 7 times 9 is 63. I'm going to just scribble through that 1 right there. And instead of 1, we carry a 6 up here because it was 63. 9 times 1 is 9, plus the 6 would be 15. And once you subtract this out, you again have a remainder of 3. Hopefully that helps you. Um, if, if this was at all confusing, just do, I think if you do more work, um, in terms of writing down what you're actually thinking, that simplifies the process sometimes. And it might take you a little bit longer, but that's okay. Um, these ones are bigger problems, so you won't get too many of them thrown at you at once.